Are you thinking of starting a business in Indonesia? There are many things you need to know. Things will not go your way unless you're aware of all these things. But before we start, if you're interested in learning more about setting up a business in Southeast Asia, then make sure to hit the subscribe button as we upload videos on life and business and more in Southeast Asia. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing you need to know is that location is everything. You know how they say location, 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 and it can't be more true, especially when it comes to Indonesia. Your location is a legal requirement. It influences the cost, size, taxes, licenses, and much more. There are over 17,000 islands and some regions have their own rules and even languages. Fun fact, did you know that there are over 300 different native languages spoken in Indonesia? Before we move on to the second thing you need to know, hit the like button to help this video reach other people just like you. So, the second thing you need to know is that some industries are more attractive than others. Not all sectors are equal. In Indonesia, certain sectors like healthcare, education, and digital services are attracting more jobs than other industries. This comes from a study done by LinkedIn. So, fields like digital marketing, e-commerce, finance, healthcare, public relations are demanding the most jobs. These sectors are shining in Indonesia. The third thing you need to know is that the time to register a business dropped from two to three months to one to two weeks in 2018. Most businesses used to be conducted through pen and paper. This made it so inefficient, but the Indonesian government introduced a digital system in 2018. This system makes it fairly easy for foreign entrepreneurs to start their business in Indonesia. It used to take a foreigner two months. Now it can be done in a week. Now before we get into the fourth thing you need to know, if you're considering starting a business in Indonesia or even expanding your current one, then we can help. We here at Emmer Hub can help you expand or start your business in Indonesia. We've been helping companies expand to Southeast Asia since 2011. Whether you want to hire remote employees or set up local offices, we've got you covered. There are many permits and laws in Southeast Asia, so it can feel overwhelming. That's why we take the work off your shoulders so that you can focus on growing your business. You can get in touch with us at emmerhub.com. So back to the video. The fourth thing you need to know is the different sizes of businesses in Indonesia. There are four. There are micro, small, medium, and large, and each depends on the size of the capital. Now, foreign investors are allowed only in large companies, and large companies must have a paid-up capital of at least $170,000. And you should also know that an LLC requires at least two shareholders. There are also four types of representative offices. Each type has a different purpose and comes with its own legal requirements. Moving on to the fifth thing, you need to know about the ease of starting a business in Indonesia. Indonesia is considered an emerging power. It scored 81.2 out of 100 in terms of starting a business according to doingbusiness.org. It does particularly well when it comes to getting electricity and paying taxes. These two are crucial for large corporations, right? In 2020, seven companies from South Korea, Taiwan, Japan, and the U.S. moved to Indonesia. They began plant construction in central Java, and they brought in a total investment of $850 million. There are also over 17 companies that plan to relocate to central Java. That's also an additional $37 billion investment. Coming to the sixth thing you need to know, you should never cut corners or skip procedures. This one might be a little obvious, but it's still ignored. You must go through all the necessary procedures and requirements. For example, it takes around four months to request and obtain a notarized copy of the land ownership certificate. Then you can register a warehouse at the Ministry of Trade and other governmental offices. There are like 18 procedures required to obtain all the construction permits. You must go through them all. If you miss one step, you're putting yourself and your company at huge risk. The seventh thing is about taxes, just like everywhere else. Indonesia has a corporate tax income from 12.5% to 25, and its VAT is 10%. 
Jakarta scored 94.5 on its total tax and contribution rate according to doingbusiness.org. This makes Indonesia one of the best countries for tax relief in Southeast Asia. There are two sweet tax benefits in Indonesia. The first is that there is no income tax on reinvested profits, so you can scale without headaches. The second is that withholding tax drops from 20% to 2%, but that can only happen if both companies are registered in Indonesia. This is because it makes it a lot easier to collect payments from your Indonesian clients as they pay less tax. The eighth thing you need to know is about the booming hospitality industry. You've heard it right, Indonesia is rich with volcanoes, white beaches, and fertile rice fields all waiting to be explored. Its tropical rainforests have some iconic and unique species. And there are just countless spots that will leave you in awe. This is why the hospitality industry is a major contributor to Indonesia's GDP growth. The ninth thing you need to know is that Jakarta isn't the only urban city. Most people are familiar with the capital city Jakarta. But Indonesia is so big, it has 24 huge urban areas. Jakarta isn't the only city to move. In fact, each city has its own unique culture with its zestful life. For example, Badang is known for its old Dutch architecture buildings. Serbia is the entertainment hub and Medan is a busy training and multicultural metropolis city. The last and final thing is that Indonesia's nature is breathtaking. And there's plenty and you probably know it already. From the Sumatra jungle to Bali's beaches, Indonesia is where you get to enjoy nature with all its glory. Indonesia has a climate that makes it a perfect habitat for flora and faunas. Indonesia has 17,500 islands with volcanoes, wild jungles, waterfalls, and pristine beaches. You also get to visit beautiful Bali and the iconic Komodo and Rinka Islands. So, these are the 10 things you need to know before starting a company in Indonesia. We here at Emmer Hub can help you expand or start your business. We've been helping companies expand to Southeast Asia since 2011. Whether you want to hire remote employees or set up local offices, we've got you covered. There are many permits and laws in Southeast Asia, so it can feel overwhelming. That's why we take the work off your shoulders so that you can focus on growing your business. You can get in touch with us at emmerhub.com. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, hit the like button. What's your favorite thing about Indonesia? Let us know in the comment section below. We'll see you in the next video or in Indonesia.